Okay, so we're back and I found the switch for the uh, Atlas door. It was all the way down here. I just didn't even see it. So, Pull bam. that and then what yeah. opens? The Atlas door. Where is that? It's back up there. Well, what? go up there then. I'm going up there. All right. Okay, so let's let's go over what's been going on in the game because it's been a while since we started doing this let's play. Okay. Ugh. Um, that's going down. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't know which way it was going. Oh, all right. I'm oh, sorry about that. What were you telling me earlier about babies? They can't tell what horizontal and vertical is for a while. Oh yeah. I think it, you know what, I don't know if it was babies as well, but I know it was, they did this with kittens where uh, they raised kittens in, well, they took two batches of kit <laughs> batches, two batches of kittens. Two batches. And then they, um, they raised them in environments that one group of kittens only, they painted horizontal lines on the walls and uh, had horizontal lines on the furniture and everything, and the other one had vertical lines on everything. So when they took the kittens... Uh, I don't know, I can't see, it was so long ago, I can't remember how long they let them, like, grow up and live in that environment, but when they took the ones that lived in the vertical line environment and then put them into rooms that had tables and, uh, ledges and chairs and things like that, they couldn't judge depth. They didn't really understand the concept of the edge of a table or how far they had to jump, so they kept jumping and missing and smashing into stuff. <laughs> And then the uh, the vertical line ones, I can't remember what happened with them. I think they put them through like kind of an obstacle course or something and they just failed miserably. So you need horizontal oh. lines and vertical lines. Well, I mean, if you're for like... cats? Well... Or they're just fucked up forever? Well, I mean, <laughs> you, you don't want to, you know, understanding depth and width and everything comes from experience in your environment and if you're isolated from one type of experience then yeah you're gonna be pretty fucked up it's like you know mm -hmm. being uh because there's so much you learn when you're a kid like object permanence and everything like that object permanence that sounds like a smart term to say <laughs> it's not it's not like a fancy, it's just a fancy word. Did it make you feel, concept. did it make you feel good when you said it? <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You know what? It did make me feel good. Feel I use that word because it makes me feel good. Cause you know what? Um, I paid a lot for my higher education <laughs> and if I brought one word out of that, then so be That's it. That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. So. Thank that, you. For that is interesting, and it reminds me of, of um, that. Now you know I don't want to talk about that the the monkey thing. I don't want. Oh to talk yeah, no, about let's that. not talk about the monkey thing. It's too fucking sad and yeah. scary. Yeah, just you probably know Harlow's monkey experiment. Yeah, you can look that up if you want. But anyway, the but don't because it's sad. The plot of Tomb Raider. So that explosion in the be very beginning cutscene is a nuclear too. test. What? And it happens in the past. Yeah, let's well, like... Well, I... Yeah, I can understand that. Okay. It's a nuclear test in a <laughs> desert, and it reveals some figure in, uh, like, stasis. Yeah. Okay, so that's a nuclear test. I didn't know that it was a nuclear test. Yeah, it takes place in the past, and it takes some time for that company, owned by that, that lady... Yeah. ...to find it, right? Right. And that was in New Mexico. Whoa, this changes my whole perception of the uh, the plot. So it wasn't the thing in stasis crashing into... Or, that, or, or exploding out or of Or exploding ground. out. It uh, was a nuclear test. Should I save now? Yeah. Okay, I'll save now. And so they put Laura onto the quest to find the Scion, which is some sort of relic, right? Yeah. That's what I, was that. Is that a freaking gorilla? What was that? Uh, yeah. Shit. Oh, it's a bad boy. Shit. Oh, it's a gorilla. Shit. Dude. Dude. Monkey dude, come on. Uh. Yeah. Whoa. So. Look at this. 
What? Oh, no, sorry. I was just going backwards. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was another... Another big room. Another thing, yeah. They could have easily done that, too. Um... Not entirely sure what Atlas has to do with... So, Natla. Monkeys? Natla. So, oh, yeah, the boulder. Yeah. Natla. F. My life. How oh, do yeah, I not... from a boulder now? Oh. How do I not die? How am I gonna not die? I don't know. You tell uh, me. I don't remember this. I bet you that thing closes, so... Yeah. Let's plan this out. All right, so that gate's probably gonna close. I yeah, know, the gate's get... gonna close. There's a boulder there. There's a boulder there. And it... that medipack is where the other boulder's gonna land. So maybe if I drop off the ledge and hang, it'll go over you. It'll go over me I don't and think miraculously that'll... not cripple my hands. I think that probably won't work. I think it might work. No, maybe it won't work. I don't think it'll work. I don't know how. To... Maybe if I what if you squeeze ran up, up against the wall. What if you ran up at the boulder? Yeah. Is there like maybe a way to duck? Sacrifice myself to the boulder. Sacrifice yourself to the boulder. A way to duck. No, no, not or, a way to duck. Or oh. something to, like, a little thing to duck into. Yeah, can you see it? Okay, well, let's anything? just, let's stop planning. Let's just do this. All let's right. just do it. You just try something. Else. Oh, <laughs> sacrificing myself to the boulder gods. Yeah. Oh, no. no. Uh, okay, so plan B. I'm gonna be try a. the original plan. Plan A. <laughs> let's try A. Let's try plan A first. Try A. Okay, I like plan A. Anyways, I came up with it, so naturally so I like it. Jacqueline Natla's the business lady who sends Laura to Peru yep. to find the first piece of the scion, but she's kind of fucking her over because she's not telling her something. Yes. And so... She's not telling her a very important plot point. Which is what? What did she not tell her? I'm not going to say because we're going to get there and we're going to reveal this shit. Oh, we're not there yet. Oh, no. We're definitely... No, Laura's already onto her because she's... Whoa, broken. monkey! Oh, I forgot about the monkey. Jeez. Oh, that monkey good. Yeah, so, so Laura's already onto her because she broke into her office and looked up shit. Yeah, like, she knows she's a shady bitch. Yeah, so she's onto them, and it's because that guy attacked her in the cave. Yes, and said that uh, they had put another archaeologist adventurer... Oh, well, I can get this. Okay. Yeah, they put another one... On the case. On the case to Pierre. find something else. Oh, look at that! That's not a... It's a... That's not a boulder. It's a... Wow. Flat image. I'm no. just so used to flat images. <laughs> uh, ha, ha, ha. I so was... I guess I could just maybe duck in there. Get this rolling. Get it rolling. Quickly do that flip where you turn around and run. Yeah. Oh, it's so scary. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Do I have to stand? Where do I stand? Right, All right. You did it. Yay. Oh, and it's a pressure plate. That's yeah, it's what it a pressure is. plate. So anyway, that guy attacks her, okay, so and she gets him to reveal something. Basically, rat out Natla. Yeah. And then she breaks into her office, finds out that there's more pieces to the scion, yes. and that it's more important than she let on. Yeah. And now she's gonna go and collect it for herself. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. And that's where we are now. Yeah. She's after the second piece, but Pierre is already here causing us trouble. Yeah. And he's the other guy that's been hired. Yes. Woo, final key. And you know what? Perfect. You got the final key. Got the I final just finished key. explaining just how far along we are in the plot, and our time is up for this episode. Boom. Boom. Done. Done.